Um, I think we have the opportunity here to um, have a couple of our alumni parents uh, say a few things. Uh, let's start with Dave Eshen, the uh, class of 85, and again, one of our past alumni association presidents. Dave, take it away. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Bunas. I, I appreciate your service to the to the school and, and everything you've done for it, so that's wonderful. Thank you. Um, hello to the class of uh, 2023 and my longtime uh, dental family. It's been a while since I've seen you all, but thank you for having me today. Uh, it's an honor to welcome the class of uh, individuals that are coming to UOP Dagoni, and I especially want to say hello to my friends in the class who uh, who are a couple of students that worked for me, uh, Jessica Kim and Dominique Wilkins, um, both worked for me from UCSD, and uh, they're in the class, and I'm, I'm really proud of them, along with uh, also congratulations to my son, too. So it's, it's really meaningful to have him in this class and to have him at UOP, so I appreciate uh, UOP walking in him. But I kind of feel like I'm in a movie, the movie Back to the Future, when I see all of these bright and young faces eager to learn dentistry, it kind of takes me back to the 1982 when, when I was you and I saw my future in dentistry. I also remember how I got into dentistry by, how, how somehow I got into dentistry by having an undergraduate degree in hotel restaurant management. Like, what do you think? You know, how could that happen? But my family owned restaurants and I worked with them growing up. And for two years after graduating the University of Denver, I worked in my family restaurants. Fortunately, or you can say for, unfortunately, I soon began to hate working there. Restaurants just worked for me. And I had to tell my father um, I wanted to make a change. It was, wasn't gonna go to be fun to tell my father being his only son that I want to leave the family business, but but he was understanding, and, and to, my, to my surprise, my dad was supportive and understood that 24-7, 365 grind of restaurants was hard on my family, and financially, it was a roller coaster. While my father was understanding, he also had some advice. He told me, hey, son, why don't you become a dentist? And I go, what? And puzzled, I, you know, I asked him, why, why, why'd you say that, dad? And he goes, well, you can be a doctor, and then nobody will die on you. So even though that wasn't my reason for becoming a dentist, I'm glad I switched to this great profession. What I learned from the restaurants was, if you give people a good product and good service, they'll come back and they'll send you their friends. I apply that to my dental office every day. And so that's how I got into dentistry and into UOP over 35 years ago. I have three quick things to tell you um, before you get launched into dentistry. Number one, you're a group of superheroes. You were the top of the class in high school. You were the top of the class in college. You gave up going to bars and having fun and to get the best grades in chemistry, biology, and physics. You have what they call major league credentials. So with all that hard work, uh, I want to congratulate you. It's paid off and you got accepted to the best dental school in the country, UOP Dagoni. As a superhero at UOP, remember one thing, you're not alone. As you can hear from everybody here, you are at the University of Pacific, which if it wasn't named the University of Pacific, it'd be named the University of Special People. You have the best faculty, the best admin team behind you. When I attended, I had professors and an administrative team that helped me so much, I'll never forget them. Dr. Hayashida, Dr. Woodson, Dr. Sinise, thank you, and all his Tapino dinners, Dr. Cagnoni, Dr. Pride, and especially Dr. Degoni. Some of these are actually still there and are the all-stars now, and that's Joanne Fax and Dr. Yarbrough, and I'm sure I'm forgetting a few. These are great people that no other dental school has. They are there to help you. When you get to school and you feel the camaraderie and humanism throughout the building, it's because of these fine people. Take advantage of them. The number two thing I need to tell you is dentistry is a great profession, and you've heard this already. I can tell you that, though, because I've seen the other side. I worked in restaurants, remember? Dentistry is a top-rated profession for the last decade. Yes, it's an expensive education, 
but it's still a great return on investment, a great profession, and a great lifestyle. I learned at UOP when you can't decide between doing a filling or doing a crown on a patient, you should ask yourself this question. What would I do on a family member? Well, if, if crown is best for a family member, that's what you do for the patient. That is the right thing. In choosing a profession for someone in my family, I think the same way. When I recommend dentistry uh, to someone in my family, I use that same rule. When an undergraduate from UCSF asked me about dentistry, that's why my wife and I supported my son when he chose to go to dentistry, go into dentistry. So dentistry is a great profession. Dentistry has made my life not only full, but rewarding. So you can find that too. And then lastly, and the third thing I want to tell you here is that you need to help others. You may think, how can I help others? I'm just a dental student. Well, you can always find ways to help. That is what UOP taught me and will teach you. When the dental school asked me to help with projects, I got involved. Involved to the point of running for class president, student rep to the CDA, an alumni board member, and eventually one of the youngest presidents uh, for, to our alumni association. I gave to the dental school that accepted me, and guess what? I got more in return. These gifts to the school are really gifts to me. They taught me to be organized, to learn, to learn from older dentists, to develop a team, and best of all, to be a leader of my practice. If you do this, you will learn often you get more than what you give. Give to your profession in your dental school. The more you help, the more success and fulfillment you will experience. Through the next three years, make sure you find a way to give to your class and community. So those are the things I'd like to, you to take away as you progress through the UOP to go in a year. Remember, you are special, a superhero. You have a destiny, but you are not alone. When you need it, get help, support from the best people and faculty dentistry has to offer, the faculty and administration at UOP. They are there to support you. Remember, dentistry is a great profession. You'll be re rewarded for your hard work. It may be your, it, it may be, you also may need to give. Even as good as you are, you're always obligated to help others. It may be your fellow student you help. It may be your patient, or maybe just somebody outside the dental school. Helping others is both a gift to that other person and a gift to you. As a superhero in dentistry as you are, it's like in the movies, you, you should have a destiny. The class of 2023 superheroes, while you enjoy your, your year at UOP, remember your destiny. So with that, I thank you all, and I hope you are all well. Thanks. Great. Thank you, Dave. A lot of excellent advice there.